Welcome to UConn Post Game Extra, presented by People's United Bank with Megan Como. I'm Andrew Catalan. UConn with its 27th win of the season. Memorable day for Kalina Mosqueda Lewis and Stephanie Dolson. Mosqueda Lewis, a new career high with 32 points, and Dolson tied her career high with 25. Let's talk about Kalina first, Meg, and what's been the biggest difference in her game this year compared to last year? Well, you know, she's so much more than just a shooter, and she worked really hard in the offseason. It's funny, she didn't play USA basketball. She went home. Home, and she hung out with her family and but she played a lot of basketball she's not content to just be a stand-up shooter she rebounds she passes she posts up in the lane she does everything and she's a great defender on top of it all so her game is so much better and the huskies are as well this year i've tried to actually do a lot of what kelly does um make sure that i'm all over the set sheet whether it's getting steals getting rebounds making sure that I'm making an impact the whole game instead of just being a scorer, just being a shooter. Well, Dolson had her fourth career double-double. The two of them combined for 57 points. Can those two take them deep into March, or are they going to need a Bria Hartley who really struggled today to get going? Well, I, I don't think two is going to be enough. It, it may get them, you know, late into the tournament. But when you want to get, if you want to get to the Final Four and win the whole thing, you're going to need more than two people. But if you have them playing well, there's enough of a supporting cast. Is Bria Hartley going to go 0 for 11 again? I doubt it. But, you know, you have Mariah Jefferson who, who played some good minutes, Morgan Tuck. You know, you need Caroline Doty to step up. But if you can get Dolson the ball in the lane and keep her involved in the offense, they're going to be okay. We are able to run our offense, you know, execute on offense, and uh, just kind of run our plays when both of us are knocking down shots and um, giving each other the ball. So it was good out there. Me and Steph want to be the ones that this team can count on and make sure that, you know, if things start, you know, falling off a little bit, we pick everybody up and we make sure that we're on top of our game all the time. You know, I kind of take the leadership to heart and uh, you know I get out there and I just want to make sure everyone knows what they're doing who they're guarding what we're running um, and just you know what kind of defense we're in so I definitely enjoy the leadership leadership position that I'm in um, you know with the post down low and everything so I've really enjoyed this year so far they played tonight like all American players and um, these two have been some of the most consistent players that we've had the whole year tonight they really helped us along and like I said they showed how how much they can impact our team I got told the team afterwards, you know, Kalina and, and, and Stephanie, uh, the two of them play like, you know, All-American type players. And um, um, our, our, our whole focus was on was on today and getting better and, and building some momentum, not necessarily for just Monday night, but for, you know, for next weekend and beyond. That'll do it for UConn Post Game Extra, presented by People's United Bank. For Megan Como, I'm Andrew Catalan. We'll see you again soon.